This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, We Rent It, and RV Source. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything there is to see, do, and experience right here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and this week we bring it on over to Baytown to visit a barber shop that prides itself on hair, hunting, and its history. For over a hundred years, the entrance to the Houston Ship Channel at the mouth of the San Jacinto River has been at the doorstep of Baytown. Settled in the 1820s, Baytown has a rich history in oil and gas production. And all the hardworking folks who churn out Texas tea need a place to get cleaned up every once in a while. Fortunately, there's the Trophy Barbershop. People are forgetting that something like this exists, that they should be treated good and, and they shouldn't be rushed. You know, we don't rush people. If we're rushing, then I need to hire somebody else. Chris Rue was born and raised in Baytown, and he's passionate about being the caretaker and owner of this eclectic old school institution that's been around since Kennedy was president. 1962 values and traditions to me means that not only are we going to be excited that you're walking through our door, but we're going to be proud to give you great service. Chris is passing along the principles established by the barber who started the Trophy Barbershop back in the day, Jimmy Carpenter. You see, Jimmy enjoyed taking a little off the top for customers and taking a bit more off the top of his hunting trophies. When I tell people I have a 12 foot polar bear in my shop, it's very hard to explain. <laughs> but people come from everywhere to, to look at the shop. It's a pretty unique story, I don't know that you'd find a similar one anywhere. Legend has it that Jimmy's wife was tired of having such massive mounts in her home, so Jimmy took them to work, and a Baytown institution was created. For over 50 years, nothing has changed. These are the original chairs, the original pictures, everything's original in here. All the animals are original. We don't add animals, we don't buy animals. Uh, would never do anything like that to disgrace the name of Jimmy Carpenter and the Baytown icon he's created. It was a real big thing, uh, especially as a young boy, to come in here and see all this. John Carpenter is as close to this story as the fade on his head, because Jimmy was his great uncle. Known for his flannel blue hunting shirt and sense of humor, I mean, who puts a deer in their car? Jimmy realized that each of his hunts created more business, and more business created more hunting. In total, you'll find 155 exotics and 100 in-state mounts. As for the racks... Uh, how, many, how many do you think go up there? Give me a gift. Do you know the exact number? Did you count them? No, I tried to count them and I got tired and dizzy. <laughs> There are 755 racks of deer antlers hanging through the middle of the shop. So has anybody counted the points? No. <laughs> That's what he loved to do. He was just a barber by trade, so that's how this all came together in a, in a roundabout fashion. They actually blocked Texas Avenue when Jimmy had that bear mounted. He drove in a convertible, had the bear in the back of that car while he paraded it down Texas Avenue and people lined up down the street to watch. Oh, that had to be a sight to see. I've been cutting hair for a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Reyes is the most seasoned stylist in the barber shop. He could just hang up his clippers, but something keeps bringing him back. I'm retired now, so I come in here because I miss the place. From what I understand, I'm sure almost everybody in the city of Baytown has probably been in here. Daniel Hodges has been cutting hair since he was 15. Oh, I've heard lots of crazy stories. <laughs> Relationship stories are probably the best. <laughs> he too appreciates the history of this place. Take a look back where you're at and 
start to realize that, you know what, this is a pretty awesome shop. You know, not even what kind of barber can work at a shop like this. While experiencing their traditional service. Straight razor, art form you don't see too often anymore. No, you really don't. It's a lost art. And talking a bit about life. You know, I love my kids though, that's one thing I do. No, there's nothing better. You start to feel life at a slower pace. Then, the aftershave hits. Here we go, it's the best part. Ooh, burn. <laughs> you were so nice to me for so long. So come in for a cleanup. Oh, I feel like a new man. Right? <laughs> and leave getting to see a barber shop that's been a way of life for generations of Texans. Each one of these trophies has a story behind it. In a different time, in a different place. I, I personally would love to have been there to see it. So why do you think Kirk's keeps it so original, so true to form? Actually, he feels that's the way it should be. And I think the city of Baytown feels the same way. I don't think traditions and values ever get old. I don't think treating people right ever gets old. And as long as people want to get good service, good haircuts, be treated right, I think we'll be around for a long time.